Peace and blessings, Trey. Hey. Wonderful to be here. Thank you for having me here. And congratulations on that Emmy. Oh, I'm proud of you. Thank you. I see so you out much. here in the streets. <laughs> thank you so much. You know, it, it means everything to be able to bring that back to our community and really to have a platform where folks like yourselves and others can really come and share what they're doing in community. Now, some of them may not know, but you're really out here. You're doing Qigong. You're teaching stress-free for life techniques. But really, it's uh, this basis of ancient techniques that you're bringing to the forefront. Tell us a little bit about uh, why breathing is so important in all the work that you do. Well, breathing is the underlying and, and, and um, intro to stress. Once we start seeing ourselves breathing in the upper chest area, breathing through our mouth, um, panting and things like that, we're, we're already exhibiting the stress response. We, our body is already automatically responding to a stress situation like it's under a survival situation like it's life or death. So the fight or flight mechanism is kicked in, um, your, your, your pupils dilate, your blood pressure rises, um, you begin to, to, to feel the tension of stress. All the, all the blood moves away from your, your internal organ system and moves into your large muscle mass. It makes you wanna run or fight, right? It wants to protect yourself. One of the things about stress that is huge is to understand that if we manage our stress, if we carry our stress every day, if we try to do that, we're gonna harm ourselves for sure. And we might even kill ourselves. And so we have to learn that stress is not something that we want to manage. We want to get stress free for life. And there's a way to do that. We start with the breathing. Um, there's, a, there's a way to start with the breathing. And I teach how to start with the breathing through a method of, of yang gong and meditation practices um, that stem from you know, ancient Chinese practices, that stem from ancient Kemetic practices, which is ancient Egyptian practices around meditation, visualization, and proper breathing and stretching. You know, I'll, I'll say that, you know, I think this is something that's so exciting because we understand so much of this is it really negative imp impacting the black community negatively. Right. Um, when we talk about a lot of stress, because there's a lot of other diseases and health conditions that come from stress. I mean, you know, talking to others, we, we, we hear the numbers all the time in data. We talk about diabetes. We talk about, you know, having, uh, you know, fibroids, right. We talk about, um, you know, heart related issues, uh, you know, blood pressure issues. All of those things are really, uh, you know, the, outward effects of you carrying that stress. And so you're saying that there's some breathing techniques that people can literally do to work themselves through those things to eventually really eliminate the stress. Indeed, breathing is one of the basic keys to eliminating stress. If we can practice on a regular basis, breathing properly through our nose into our lower dantian or, or lower abdomen, we can preempt the stress response. And um, we couple that with some visual, visualization techniques and some chanting as well in meditations, but we, we want to understand that we can pre-hearse this, right? When we're in a, in a stress situation, we're automatically breathing through our mouth, we're automatically panting. If we can practice on a regular basis and get in the habit of breathing correctly, breathing only through our mouth, like we would talk through our nose. We don't talk through our nose, so why breathe through our mouth? It's not for that. Mm -hmm. We inhale through the nose properly into the lower diaphragm. It automatically activates the parasympathetic system, which calms the body down, which is, allows the blood to detox, which allows the body to relax, which actually activates the prefrontal cortex, which allows you to think, to analyze situations, and find the solution to the situation that's at hand. Most of us aren't in a life or death situation daily, so we're dealing with social situations, right? We're dealing with situations like somebody said something rude to me. I didn't get along with my spouse today, right? And we're acting and responding to those situations like they're life or death, which makes sense if they're a saber-toothed tiger trying to kill you. But most of the time, it's not a saber-toothed tiger. It's somebody you really love and you want to see them do well. So we have to work on the breath to do that. Uh, this is, I think, a lot, a lot of people may not even really know that, that it's uh, breath is such a central part to how they respond properly to these kinds of situations. Uh, for folks that are out there that find themselves in, you know, what they may consider to be a stressful situation, what is one of the things that you would tell them with regard to how they need to then change their dynamic, right? Like maybe they're in that method right there and they're breathing through their mouth and they got coming through the chest and they're panting. You know, what are some of the things that you walk, you know, people through? I know you have clients too. How do you walk them through that? Well, I start before the stress situation. Once you're in the stress situation, you've already exhibited the response. We want to we want to cut it off before it happens. Mindfulness, you know, has that's been taught traditionally in in ancient cultures and been taught here in America really is after the fact that the triggers are already set. We've already pulled the trigger. So we spend time in the mornings, right, breathing. 
visualizing situations and interactions with other people that have triggered stress in the past, and we see ourselves at peace, we see ourselves smiling, we see ourselves breathing naturally. Um, to a person that's in the middle of the situation, I would say, you know, if you can, close your mouth, right? Um, you know, it's hard to say right now to shut up, but we got to close our mouth and start breathing through the nose, right? And once we start that process, when we get used to practicing that process, we'll see a lot of things change in our lives for the better. I'm telling you, you know, I am somebody who is practicing this, you guys. And I, and I will say that there's a lot of different things uh, over the last few years in my life that I've really applied in terms of what you're talking about with these teachings and visualizing myself responding peacefully to situations that I know have caused me to pant and to have more of an animalistic response. So much of this is also, you know, when we talk about different areas of the brain, you know, we've had several, I've been able to interview several people. And even yesterday, hearing from Rokia at Tubman Center for Health and Freedom, that one of the main things that they got out of their Well Us survey was that a lot of Black families are utilizing these ancient techniques now, right? They're starting to understand the benefits of things like yoga, meditation, um, you know, uh, you know, peacefulness in general. And so what you're describing are a lot of the uh, actual techniques that that they can apply to ensure that that is something they're cementing with their health and wellness. Definitely, and it's it's the basis of our ancient comedic practices as well. We learn that peace is our essential nature. We're created in the image of peace, and if we can respond to every situation in peace, we can actually tap into our divinity and understand how to interrelate with people. And so, I'm a member of the Sarset Society, which has been around for 50 years, teaching our people, black and brown people, that you're a peaceful being by nature. And so this is how you're supposed to carry yourself. This is how you're supposed to breathe. This is how you're supposed to interact. Stress is something that we can get rid of. You know, if you, would, if you were to sit on a tack, you wouldn't get comfortable on a tack. You'd remove the tack, right? So why get comfortable on stress? Um, why identify with our lower nature? You mentioned the four brains or the, or the brains. There's four brains that we talk about. There's a reptilian brain, there's a mammalian brain, and there's a neocortex, and then the prefrontal cortex. The prefrontal cortex is designed to rule all of those lower brains. But when we are responding in stress, we're allowing the reptilian brain to control us. Who would let a, straight, a snake walk them down the street, mm -hmm. right? So why are we allowing snakes and, and mammals to guide us? We have, to, we have to elevate and evolve as spiritual beings and as, as decent and moral human beings by activating the prefrontal lobe. And, and we do that through a lot of things. Like I said, it starts with the breath. It starts with visualization. We also have to focus on our diet. We have to focus on our supplementation. We have to make sure that we rest and recover properly, things of that nature, to make sure that we're taking care of our holistic health. Spirituality and health go hand in hand. It's a holistic method. It's not just one or the other. It's all and. Yeah, yeah, geez, and, and uh, look, I'm working on the 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 rest and relaxation part. I got some work to do there because you know, as somebody who's just always going and on the go, that's something that I recognize in my own life. Of being like, okay. I really need, you know, my eight hours of sleep. I really need to be sure that I am taking time away, you know? So, so sometimes it's just like, okay, literally getting away so that I can do that. And I have to find better techniques to do that while I'm here doing the work. Well, you know, one of the things I wanted to ask you, because I think there's, uh, you know, a lot of people that may understand some of the techniques and they use them in military, right? When it's like, okay, you got to breathe in for four seconds, breathe out for four seconds. Um, is that something that you think a lot of people can can kind of start to do is like an easy kind of method when you know they're they're thinking about how to visualize you know themselves peaceful you know that kind of same technique that we see uh for for a lot of our officers in the military doing something similar uh like that definitely um when we're commuting back and forth to work when we're going on walks or breaks when we're sitting down in front of the television you know when we're at home we can take some time to simply close our mouth right breathe in deeply into the lower abdomen, the lower dantian is what we call it, in a, in a very peaceful manner. We don't wanna hear our breath, so we don't wanna inhale loudly. We don't wanna breathe through the nose, I mean, excuse me, breathe through the mouth. We wanna breathe into our lower abdomen, hold that for a pause, for a heartbeat, and then allow that to just release and relax and breathe out through the nose as well. We can practice that for five minutes in chunks. We don't have to do it you know, for an hour a day, like some of us practicing Qigong, we do it for a longer period of time, but you're welcome to join, people are welcome to join that. Um, but we want to make sure that throughout the day, preemptively, before and after those stressful events, that we practice breathing. So anytime you're thinking about it, anytime it comes back to mind, or anytime you notice that your mouth is open and you're breathing through your mouth, close your mouth and just breathe in deeply into the lower abdomen. Mm. 
This is, uh, I'm telling you, I, I'm, I'm loving these kind of segments because we understand that this is a foundation for people really taking control of their health and wellness. And unfortunately, one of the things that we deal with in the Western society is, you know, people think, oh, I need a doctor for everything, right? Like, oh, I got to go see a doctor about this, or I got to get make sure I get a medical professional to tell me, you know, what to do best. And so really elevating these uh, techniques and then people like yourself who are out here in community doing this work, uh, allowing people to learn and get engaged with it, it's really important. Um, what are some of the ways that people can reach out, get connected to some of the things that you're doing? I know uh, Qigong is happening, y'all. Every third Friday at the Liberty Bank building is open to the public. Uh, but make sure you look right there and just let people know how they can contact you, how they can get connected, because maybe there's some folks out there who really need these techniques in their lives. Oh, for sure. Now, on my website, herudchayazamen.com, you can schedule a 15-minute consultation with me, and we can talk through some of your issues, some of your concerns. We can plug you into our events. We teach Qigong three times a week, and that's for free, so anybody can tap into that, and I can share that link once you connect with me there. You can also connect with me on Instagram at herunefer, H-E-U-R, H-E-R-U, excuse me, N-E-F-E-R, um, on Instagram. And you can DM me there or see the events there as well. We're all out here in the streets helping people. We're in the parks practicing Qigong. And you're welcome to join and heal yourself so you can help others. There we go. Welcome to join and heal yourself. I know Salman is putting the links right there in the comments. Thank you so much, Salman. And thank you so much, Haru Chayez Amin. What a phenomenal way to introduce people to how they control what they think is stress in their lives. I just really appreciate you for bringing this practice to bear. Indeed. Thank you for having me. And thank you for repping the Heru Hills. I see you with the Falcon on you. Yes. I just I was going to point that out, too, because make sure somebody let's get that on the camera because, you know, Haru Hills, you guys can make sure you guys reach out to him, find a way to get the sweatshirt. You know, we're all going to be healed out here in this community. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Have a good one. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. I'm telling you.